Daybreak. 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 The Daybreak Show. Ogun State consists mainly of two divisions. The Egba and the Jebu division. The Egba division now has, uh, has always had Egbado, which is Yewa, and Ijebu has Ijebu and Remo. So that's the way it's always been. I strongly believe that the best way to worship God, our Creator, is to serve humanity. Okay, The best way to worship God, I believe that God created us, all of us, so that we can worship and work. So the worship part of it is the best to worship God, is to serve humanity. So I would like to serve humanity, which as I've been doing in the past 12 years, and now specifically to serve our people in Ogun State. The second aspect of my uh, the urge to want to serve Ogun State is because of my experience, my know-how. I have been involved with running states at very senior level for the past 12 years. And uh, with that experience, which I believe is not matched by any of the other aspirants, including that of the current state governor and uh, the know-how I have as to how to move the state forward so we can have a state that is second only to perhaps Lagos State. I also chair the Carolina State Economic Development Council. I was responsible for the running of the economy of the states as well as all the investments and economic activities of Carolina State uh, such that uh, Carolina State eventually overtook Ogo State as the fifth largest economy in Nigeria in terms of IGR. IGR, Internet Development Revenue, is the best way to measure a state's performance and it's the same for any human beings be it individual be it corporate organization be it a state be it a nation you're only as good as the money you make in terms of revenue in Ogun state in 2018 the final year of governor Mosu was 84 billion naira which is 7 billion naira per month in 2019 under governor that while the other one took over the first seven months, the idea of the state crashed to 70 billion naira from 84 billion naira. And if you, if you thought that was bad, please wait for it. By 2020, the idea for the state crashed further to an all time low of 70 of 50.4 billion. From 84 to 50.4 billion, we had lost 34 billion naira as a state government in the first two years that uh, that Bobiodun was in charge. If it was a corporate organization, such a CEO would, of course, have been long fired. But because it's a state government, most most people don't even know this data that I've just mentioned to you. So it's business as usual, I see nothing is happening. Whilst Ogun State was on a free fall, we were doing the reverse in Karuna State, where we met an IGR of 13 billion naira in 2015. Commissions should be broadened to include the entire uh, Southwest states, all the states. There's a lot you can do when you co collaborate for economic development, intrastate transports between the six states. There's no reason why we cannot build on the federal railway line between Lagos, Ibadan, through to Kano. In Ogun State, for instance, there's a stop in Abelkuta. There's no reason why we couldn't do uh, a rail service from, say, Ogun Waterside, through Ijebode, through Shagamu, to connect the, the line in Abelkuta to go to the, to the north. And you could do the same from Ogun West, from maybe Imekwafo, through Ilaro, through, of course, Iwa North, Ayetoro into Abelkuta. That way you can have additional economic activities by providing rail transportation for our farmers. We shouldn't shortchange our state at the expense of where someone is from. That's not the way to go. And uh, my point here is if Governor Dakwabiodun is performing, I will have no business whatsoever to be in this race. So we say the sounds better that we're currently getting in many, many aspects. I've mentioned economic aspects. You can go into education, you can go into healthcare, you can go into security of life, some property. You can go into governance itself. All the, in all those five cardinal areas where we have cardinal prin uh, uh, principles, Cardinal agenda, we can do better than we currently are getting from Governor Dakwa Biodun. On economic development front, for instance, we would want to have a community development association, an economic sub in every ward of Ogun State. We have 236 wards. I would like to see every ward where businesses are created to represent the best competitive advantage of the particular world. I like gives out numbers at his at will. What he says to you today will not be to defend tomorrow. The data I gave you are from National Bureau of Statistics. So they are incontrovertible. Okay? No state can create its own IGR as governments try, try to do. Another point is this. This government is so opaque that you don't have anything you can rely on. We don't know what the budget of this state is published. So you can't really double check the numbers they're reeling out. But the numbers I gave you are verifiable and they are incontrovertible because they are published 
by National Bureau of Statistics. But let's give our state the best. Ogun State itself the best. And it means that I, I like competition and I'm glad that this is why I left APC. But they turn the party into a party where there's no competition, where people just rob and write results and no internal democracy. Daybreak. 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 The Daybreak Show.